All right. Get right into questions for you, media. Use the raise hand function. Start with James Crepia. Kelly, your thoughts on, without knowing exactly what your game plan was, were you trying to play Tahina more off the ball and your thought from her and, and what you saw from Andy and Maddie by way of distribution? I thought our back, starting backcourt was really strong tonight. I thought all three of those guys had really solid games. We have uh, haven't played them much in practice together because, you know, when you're running two teams, you got to have at least one of them running the, uh, the other squad. So uh, I thought they looked pretty good playing together. Tahina was on point tonight offensively, certainly. Uh, India did a lot of good things. And Maddie was very disruptive defensively. So I think they really complement each other well. And uh, I was pleased with what I saw, especially defensively early on. Eric Scopel. Coach, you just touched on defense there, and I was going to follow up with that first quarter and a half there, holding off the scoreboard. What was working well? Do you feel like cohesively they were, their team was playing well? And it seemed like even regardless of who was on the court, it was pretty good effort. Yeah, I thought our activity level was great tonight. We were mixing up the defenses, a little three-quarter court uh, uh, you know, kind of a tempo press, some man to man. Uh, we were switching, we were trapping a little bit. We tried to throw a whole lot of stuff at our own players to see how they were going to react. And I thought they really did a good job. I, we got hands on a lot of balls and then there was no let up when the, uh, you know, when we went to the bench, um, you know, Shania Pinto, you know, I thought played a great game. She's so disruptive defensively and, and on the boards and, and a lot of our players were, and we're really long. So I think we posed some problems there and they, they had a difficult time, you know, getting anything around the rim or anything easy. So, yeah, I was pleased with our defensive effort. I told them after the game, I didn't exactly know how good we were going to be defensively. Now it's obviously going to get tougher with each game, but uh, that was a good start. Coach, obviously just great to get in front of the crowd tonight once again. Um, how awesome was that for you, and how much do you think your players had fun uh, being able to play in front of these fans for the first time? Well, I think they really enjoyed it. Sure, you know, uh, a lot of smiles on our kids' faces after. Uh, I think that makes you feel really good when you go out and you know that people support you. Uh, you know, they, they, they follow your team, they love your team, and they're, they're behind you. I think that's uh, – you know, very powerful message to these young people. And, uh, you know, and I think we fed off it defensively anyway, but yeah, for a first time, good crowd for an exhibition game. You don't normally see that. And that was uh, pretty neat to see. James. For those who weren't here, Kelly, they're going to look at the box score and ask if you were trying to make a point of experimenting a little bit at the guard position, not going through the bigs as much against a smaller team in an exhibition. Was that part of it that you didn't necessarily want to do as much of the bigs? You wanted to mess around like you're talking about, not necessarily playing the point guards together as much in practice? No, I we, we want to have a good mix. I actually thought we would do a better job and be a lot more dominant in the paint. I thought we were uh, – and I thought we did a better job in the second half. You know, we weren't ready for that little double team they threw at our players. We hadn't really worked on a double team rotation, so to speak. Uh, they did it early in the second – second half and Sedona dove to the basket and the R hit her for an easy layup, but we didn't do a great job really of getting the basketball inside where they could just turn, catch and score, you know, or catch, turn and score. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what we did wrong and, and, and get better there. We got to have a little bit more balance. Uh, how, what were the points in the pain? I, I don't have my glasses, you guys. 46 to six. Yeah, see, 46, I think that should have been a little bit higher tonight. Scopo. I was going to ask you a follow-up about just kind of having some of these players back with the program and around your, your current team. Sabrina hadn't been with them on Wednesday when we spoke last. I'm curious kind of how that went and kind of what it meant to have four really, really important points of your program back in town. Well, we've talked in terms of legacy, you know, and uh, – you know, listen, that group left an amazing legacy here at the university, one that, you know, perhaps might will be unmatched. You know, it, it was just we caught lightning in a bottle with that crew and they were just so easy to root for and so successful and, and iconic in a lot of ways. Uh, you know, but our, our players really look up to them. They haven't had a chance to spend much time with them as we're all speaking uh, Ruthie, Mignon, Satu and, and uh, Sabrina are in the uh, locker room talking with the team. 
And that's really powerful. I know our players really look up to them. There's a, and they're a big reason why uh, these players came here. You know, they followed Sabrina and Ruthie and Tattoo and Minya. They, they, you know what I mean? That was a team that everybody loved and looked up to. And so, listen, I, I owe them a lot personally. I think they have a lot to do with this current, current group. So hopefully our team is asking questions and just being able to hang around with them, I think is really powerful. Jared Denny. Hey Kelly, I'm just wondering what you made, what you made of Philly's uh, kind of Oregon debut and her getting out there. I think she had five offensive rebounds. Yeah. Philly's going to be really good. Hey, we didn't do a good job of getting her the ball where she could just turn and score. And, uh, and that's on, uh, that's on us. We, you know, just execution wise, but I think she's showed, you know, flashes tonight. She's got such a great feel for the game, especially defensively uh, and, and screening. She, uh, like a lot of our posts tonight, we're just kind of hanging out on the perimeter a little bit. I wish we had a, a more of a, a role and a block presence, inside presence. But, you know, that's why you have these exhibition games, so you don't repeat these, uh, these issues. But I'm really happy for her. She's such an easy person to coach. Happy, go lucky. Saw the big smile a couple times. And, man, I'll tell you, she's going to be a force. Just turned 18 to three weeks ago. So, Scopel, you just mentioned kind of not wanting to repeat certain things in exhibition two. What, what are you hoping for the next eight or nine days here to, to accomplish and what kind of some things to work on? Well, believe it or not, there were things tonight that we can clean up. You know, we got a little sloppy at times, but uh, that's it's not easy when you're running 11 players in and out. And you're trying to get everybody, you know, meaningful minutes and, you know, you just it's tough to keep any kind of continuity. So the fact we only had nine turnovers, I think is good. And most of those were unforced. So those are things we can clean up, do a better job of, you know, working on the inside game. But by and large, you know, this just gives us some film. This just gives us some stuff to study. And and that's important. That's valuable at this time. Jared. Did you say Eric or Jared? Go ahead, Jared. Um, I just wanted to ask about the two Taylors. Um, is Tosin Dove, yeah. are you have her back to the second exhibition game? Uh, yeah, I don't know. She just had an ankle. Uh, you know, sprained her ankle yesterday in practice. So I don't know. How, you know, those can be pesky. You know, you never know. It can be a few days or, you know, we can get her back. So we'll see. I, I'm hoping that we get her back because as a freshman, you want her to get her feet wet with one of these exhibition games. Uh, Taylor, uh, Host and Dove, we just, we don't know yet. We haven't heard from the NCA, and so we didn't exactly know if we could play her in an exhibition, so you might as well err on the side of caution, and that's what we did tonight. So hopefully we'll have them both back, but we'll see. Scopel. I was going to ask you just about Tahina in that first half, and some of the shots she was hitting seemed pretty difficult, and I think just a really impressive first half. Kind of what did you see there, and is that kind of uh, similar to what you've seen in practice? Yeah, I, I have. You know, she's a scoring guard. She's, she's, well, she's just, she's an all, all around really good guard and, uh, and an, an elite shooter. And we saw that tonight. Um, I think uh, James had asked me about her being off the ball a little bit. Um, and that, that's, you know, really, we can run any of those guys at the point. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're just going to get the, the outlet to the nearest player and go. So Tahina's very comfortable off the ball. You know, still had a few assists tonight as well. So I don't know if that's going to affect her, her game much there either. So I don't know. That was a really impressive first half for her. And then she got a little run the second half, I think the first five minutes or four and a half minutes, and then we shut her down. There was no reason to, to keep going. Anything else for Coach? All right. Thank, thank you, you guys. That was fun. I'll be at the Wild Duck if you need me. <laughs>